We're already half of the month. Yes. Halfway of the month of October. That was quick. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Man, where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Welcome to the NBC family, all visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive God Himself for you. Today we're going to be talking about the God of second chances. The God of the second chance. And we've all been there. And he's given us a second chance. What are you doing about it? Are you doing the best about it? Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We know he's not finished with you. That's it. Amen. He's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. So you have to know this so that you can know, say, God's not finished with me. Your friends, people around you, mm -hmm. the enemy is going to put people around you to let you know and say, you know what? You messed up. Uh-huh. And God can't use you anymore. All right. He's finished with you. And we believe this. And we just, by the wayside, we just go and we just go have pity parties the rest of our lives. Do nothing about it. No. Remember, somebody shares something with you. I've got a word from you. Mm -hmm. And if it don't match, if it doesn't line up with the word of God, there's, there's no scripture to it, you don't have to receive it. I'm not receiving that, you know. And if it doesn't uh, witness with you, make witness with you, I don't know. I'm not receiving that. Just put it on the shelf and go and get the press the lead. I'm not receiving that. That's not for me. You need that. He's talking to the wrong person. Amen. I'm a child of God. And you also are a child of God. So don't just receive anything. Be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Amen. Amen. So we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So prepare yourselves. Grab your sword, soldier of God. And uh, let's make this declaration together. And say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Remember, the battlefield is the mind. So keep your mind alert. Keep your mind filled with the word. Renewed with the word of God. Amen. The enemy is going to be sure to attack that mind at all times. And you're going to start thinking wrong things. And if you're not feeding it on the word, renewing it, it's just going to come against you. So the battlefield is the mind. So we got to feed it the word of God, renew it with the word of God. Amen. So let's remember this. Mm -hmm. Whew, hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> but let's get ready. God have a second chance. Praise God. And thank you, Jesus. Whatever it takes. Uh. Let me see what we got. God of second chances, new beginnings. You know, mm -hmm. when we went to find a name for this church, mm -hmm. we was looking all kinds of names. We looked up and down. We went everywhere looking for a name. And we kept getting new beginnings. I said, well, that's not, you know, we want to get something better, you know. And we tried everything and we kept going back. And it's new beginnings. And we tried New Beginnings, so we submitted it. And they said, no, you can't use that because somebody has already got it. I said, well, what if we have New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben? I said, okay, yeah, you could use that. Well, praise God. New Beginnings of the Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So let's remember that. He wants to give us you or a second chance. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. This is good. Our God is a God of second chances. Job 3, uh, 33, 29. I mean, you can mark these down and we can go and uh, check them out. Let's go. We don't go to the book of Job that much, you know, but uh -huh. hey, he's, he's there. I hope yeah. I can find it. I haven't been to Job in a while. <laughs> Come on, Job. Where are you? Before Psalms. Hmm? Right before Psalms. Right before Psalms. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. There we go. Job 33 and 29. Mark these down and you go. And you read them, you know. Sometimes if I give you scripture, I might give you the wrong scripture. Mm. You can come back and you tell me, Pastor, you gave me the wrong scripture. Okay. And 29 says what? No, all these things worketh God of times with man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. The king. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, King James. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, all these all these things work in God. All, all these things work in God all time with men to bring back his soul from the pit and enlighten with the light of the living. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God, you know, mark these down and go and, and check them out for yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God gives us a second chance, and He never gives up on us. We just give up on Him. You know, I've said this many times. The problem is not on His part. That's the it. problem is on our end. Yeah, yeah. And this is the part we got to fix. Uh -huh. Amen. And if you ever look, see yourself in the mirror, <laughs> that's your biggest problem right there. Yeah. I got to fix that problem right there. That's yeah. me. Yeah. Amen. I say, Lord, help me. What is it I need to do? Well, get in the Word. Amen. Get in the church, you know, where everybody's, uh, where they're teaching the Word of God. And you can get in the Word and study to show yourself approved. Amen. So let's remember these things. Amen. Keep going. He's given us a second chance. He, he's not giving up on us. It's just a few names right here. Our God is the God of second chance. You're talking about Mary Magdalene, Peter, Paul, Moses, Joseph, Jonah. Tamar, Esther, Jacob, and King David. That's just a few. You know, if you look at all the Bible heroes you read about, they've all sinned. And God gave them second chances. Yeah. Amen. So, He wants to do the same thing with us. He wants to give us a second chance. Yes. Amen. If, if you're still uh, away, if you're still uh, seeking Him, He's there. But you have to come to Him. Amen. And, and you have to confess, and he'll forgive you, and he's going to give you another chance. Amen. But you got to take that chance, and you got to make, you got to do it yourself. Amen. God makes us this out of our failures, and you know he got brother so and so and sister so and so, and all these nice little friends that you got to come and tell you. He says, "There's no hope for you anymore. You know you've gone by the wayside." And God can't use you anymore. Oh. No, Satan wants to uh, us to think that we are finished, that we're washed up. John 10, 10 says what? The enemy comes, but to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what he wants to do. And he uses people. And these so-called friends that come around and let you know that there's no more hope for you. God can't use you anymore. And you hear this all the time. But that's not what my Bible says. That's not what the Word of God says. So we have to know this so that we don't give up on ourselves. He's not giving up on us. We give up on ourselves. We quit. We want to just give up. No, let's not do that. But God will still use you. If we are repentant, confess our sins, it's called a second chance. And you know, we got born again. Hallelujah. When we got born again, the Bible says the new is in and the old is out. And every time the world, somebody tries to bring it back to you, the enemy, remember the battlefield of mine, he tries to bring it back to you. He said, that didn't happen. It didn't happen to you. You're not saved. Yes, I am. I had a spiritual birth. And the new is in and the old is out. People see the same old you and they're going to hold it against you still from day one. Mm -hmm. It's over. It's past. Yeah. Amen. And put it on the shelf and say, man, Jesus dropped the charges. And they're not going to drop charges. They're going to hold it against you forever. Amen. Yep. So you got to know who you serve and who you are. Amen. <laughs> Since every moment of your life is a second chance. I was born again. I feel good. Man, I feel great. I feel like, man, God gave me a second chance. Yeah, but if you don't, if you don't keep your mind renewed, uh, you're just going to feel like, man, I lost it. Just know. Don't give it up. You got to keep that going. You got to keep that going. You know, like the little uh, flame. You got to keep that spark going and make it bright. Amen. You're the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Every, everywhere you go, you bring light to a light of dark world. You're the closest thing to a Bible for people to be around. Amen. I mean, I'm so glad I'm here for you to see. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here for God to use me. See yourself that way. Amen. You know, don't be just boring, you know. Don't join the crowd and start doing the negative things. Be positive. Amen. God is using you. God is, you yeah, serving God. And I'm doing it only Him. Amen. I'm not pleasing people. I'm not just trying to perform for them, you know, and impress them. I'm, I'm here to serve God. Amen. And whatever He wants me to do, I'm going to do. Let me see where I left off. If God gave you a second chance, don't waste it. You've never gone too far for God. Can't redeem you, restore you, forgive you, and okay. give you a second chance. Are you listening to this? Yeah. All of us. Amen. Yeah. He, he wants to do this to all of us. Peter denied Jesus how many times? We're going to be talking about people that have had second chances. Peter was one of them. Amen. He says, 
Man, he's ready to fight and die for Jesus. And Jesus says, before the night is over, he says, you'll deny me three times. Before the cock grows, you'll deny me three times. Oh no, but you know, when, when they came around him, you know, the soldiers came around him, the men came around him, and as, you know, he's one of them. He, oh, not me, no, no, no. Remember, Jesus died at Quebec. So you don't have to serve him in, in private. <laughs> hey, I go to church, and I go home, and nobody knows I'm born again. Don't serve him in private. Serve him in public. Mm. Amen. Because that's where you're going to find people. Mm. In public. Amen. Amen. I say, man, I don't want people. To, 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 I want people to know that I'm born again. I'm yeah. a child of God. Amen. And so do you. But Peter denied him three times. He says, before the night is over, you'll deny me three times. No, no. And you know when the cock fell the last time, he turned and looked at Jesus because Jesus had already uh, prophesied and said what he was going to happen. When he looked at Jesus, he ran out and just wept. Yeah. He cried. Mm -hmm. Jesus was reading his mail, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yeah, praise God. Jesus had prophesied these deep, uh, his denials. In Peter's story, we are reminded God loves to give a second chance. Yes. Why? Because after this, Jesus didn't say, you know what? I can't use you anymore. Hmm. But that's not the case. That's it. The Bible says Jesus got him, chose him to speak. Yes. Amen. And people came and gave their lives. Thousands of people came and gave their lives to God. Yeah. Amen. And he, who did he use? He used Peter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever, whoever, whoever has told you, you can't do it anymore. That's not from God. That's it. Amen. It's not from God. God wants you to get in the word, study, and pursue, mm -hmm. and press on with him. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Yes. Why are you still holding back? Mm -hmm. Why well, I'm waiting on God. No, you ain't waiting on him. He's waiting on you. Amen. Like I said, the problem's not in, in him. Mm -hmm. The problem's in us. And we got to get that straight. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we make mistakes in life, and it feels final. Mm. You may think it's all over. The game of life, or the, the game of life, isn't like a game in which we have one chance to win. I saw a lot of games yesterday, and you'll see a lot of games today. But you know what? Only one is going to come out a winner. Mm -hmm. You have one chance to win. Mm -hmm. Not with him. You got chances. Amen. Amen. But make the best out of this chance. Amen. Yes. <laughs> God will give you a second chance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Job 33 and, and uh, 29 in the contemporary English version says, God gives each of us chance after chance. Yes. You know, don't don't give it up. You know, don't don't yes. don't mess it up. First John 1 and 9 says what? If we confess yes. our sins, yes. says he will forgive us. Amen. He is faithful and just to forgive us, forgive us so. of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If you don't know this scripture, mm -hmm. you'll keep the enemy is going to keep you in denial. Yes. He's going to keep you down, you know, because well, he didn't forgive me. He didn't forgive you, you know. He forgave everybody else, mm -hmm. but he's not going to forgive you. Mm -hmm. Look what you've done, and you make you feel so bad, so miserable, yeah. and you're going to feel this way. Amen. But the word. Wait a minute. The word of God says, if I confess my sins to Him, nobody else you're going to come confess to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus paid the price for this all. Yes. He's, he's, he's forgiven us. He says, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins mm -hmm. and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. He's going to yeah. set you back up. Say, Hey, get up. You know, everybody can take a fall. Mm -hmm. But listen, here's the thing is getting up is your choice. Yes. You can stay down for yes. years. Mm -hmm. How many is still. Still down and never yeah. gotten up, you know. Right. Still down, miserable, mm -hmm. you know, and never gotten up. Mm -hmm. Amen. You gotta stir yourself up. Yes. Amen. And then stay hungry yes. on a daily basis for more of Him, more of Him, and grow and go for Him. Amen. But Amen. our choice is to get up, dust yourself, and Jesus says, "Get up and press on." He didn't say, "Well, get up and just mm -hmm. stay there and mm -hmm. do nothing. I can't use you mm -hmm. anymore." He didn't say that. He said, get up and press on. That's it. Amen. I'm pressing towards the goal. We got a goal. We got a race to run. And we yes. got a, a, a mission 
to fulfill that he's called us to fulfill. Yes. Every one of us. You'll never go too far that God can't redeem you, restore you, forgive you, and give you a second chance. Mm -hmm. Again, you need to remember this. Yeah. You know what? Even if you've already gone through this, you can share it with somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We all have a great testimony. Mm -hmm. That's a second chance. You know, a second chance. I've got a testimony. It says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. That's it. Testimonies are great. When he wants you to share it, you share it. Amen. God always offers us a, check in, a second chance in life. A second chance doesn't mean anything if you haven't learned from your first mistake. You know, we use a lot of times we use that word to make the word sin sounds nice. Yeah. We make mistakes. Mm. We we sin. Mm. All our Bible heroes sinned before, and we've sinned. You know, but it's not just a mistake; it was a sin. But we gotta get it out, and we gotta confess it to Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Life offers a second chance. It's called tomorrow. <laughs> thank God and you need, you're on God's team you're on God's winning team I thank you Lord for tomorrow he's coming you know yeah I'm glad I got a wake up call this morning I'm I'm sure you got you're, you're glad you got a wake up call too uh -huh. you opened it up my eyes you know and say wake yeah. up we've got things to do today mm -hmm. amen and the Bible says again we can do all things through all things. Christ yeah. who strengthens yeah. us amen you need strength just go to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And also says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, and it tells us, this is the day I have made. Yes. He says, yes. I want you to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Amen. We always try to dump all the cares and all, oh, you know, well, you know, I can't rejoice today because this is happening. Mm -hmm. But he says, rejoice and be glad yes. in it. Amen. Yes. God. Give God your weakness and he'll give you his strength. You know, many times Jesus went to the Father. You know what he said? <laughs> Lord, I need your strength. Father, I need your strength. Yes. If Jesus can go and ask the Father for strength, why can't we? Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't do it, you know. <laughs> if you don't know by now, we're fighting a spiritual battle. Yes. And you can't fight it in the flesh. That's it. You got to get in the word and get the word in you. And confess yeah. the word. That's right. And that's what's going to take take you over. And that's what's it's going to give you the authority over mm -hmm. the uh, realm of the spirit. Yeah. Amen. The spiritual the spiritual wickedness. Yeah. Amen. And that's what's going to put you over yeah. the spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. It's the word of God. Yes. But it's got to get in you, and it's got to come out. How do I get it out? I confess it. You know, I got I, I got to speak it out. Yes. Woo! We're going to be talking about some speaking here in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. God made, we've all made mistakes in life. Uh, once or twice, maybe, or maybe a few more. <laughs> mm -hmm. You may think it's over. Mm -hmm. You want to throw in the towel. You want to give up. Mm -hmm. You want to quit. You know what? We've all been there. Yeah. But we don't have to stay there. That's it. That's we got to know the truth. This is mm -hmm. the Bible says the truth sets you free. Mm -hmm. The truth sets you free from all these mindsets, mm -hmm. from all these traditions, from all these negative thinkings. Mm -hmm. Because when you get the word and the truth, you speak the word, the truth comes out. Yeah. And you can have freedom. And you're free. Amen. But you have to do this. Yes. John uh, 16, 33 says this. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Bible says he is the Prince of Peace. Yes. And this world is not going to have peace until the Prince of Peace That's comes it. back. Amen. But he says he's going to give you peace. In the world you'll have tribulations. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if you've gone through some of these. Misfortunes. <laughs> trials. Mm. Sufferings. Mm. Pains. Distress. Mm. Differences. And some problems. Um, troubles. <laughs> 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 but be of good cheer. Yeah. Now again, he says, be joyful. Mm -hmm. Be of good cheer. Why? Because I have overcome the world. Yes. Now, if you're on God's side, you're on the winning team. Yes. Amen. But you have to be on his side and not just to be back and forth. That's it. Amen. You can't be lukewarm. We mm -hmm. talked about this last week. That's it. Be cold. He said, I'll accept you hot or cold, mm -hmm. but not lukewarm. 
That's it. Don't play with that, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Isaiah 43 and 18 says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Yes. And your, 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 well, I say your friends, your enemies, and this world, and whoever the enemy uses, they're always going to come and let you know oh, yeah. about the old you. Oh, yeah. And we remember the old you. Mm. Amen. But you have to be able to say, yeah, those charges are dropped. The past is gone. Yeah. The new is in. Praise and I'm walking in the new. And I'm not going to let nobody take me out of my yeah. peace. I'm not going to let nobody take me out of my joy. Yeah. I'm not going to let nobody take me out of walking with my God. Amen. Yeah into their mess <laughs> amen don't let them take you out of your peace i got peace with you amen and i'm not gonna let nobody take me out amen. the only one that can take me out is yourself yeah amen when you decide to say well you know hey i'm gonna take a break i'm not gonna go to church today i'm not gonna go to uh, I'm just going to take it easy. Here. Hey, the Cowboys are playing. They got a tough game with Philadelphia today. <laughs> and they need me to watch it. They need me to scream for them and, and holler for them, you know. If I don't do this, you know, they'll probably lose. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, just put it in God's hands. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the game of life is a game. It's like a game where you only have one chance to win and it's over. But I'm a believer. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Yes. I sin. I mess up. Mm. Yes. <laughs> God's grace is bigger than any mistakes or sins that I make. That's it. His grace is sufficient. Amen. But you have to get it out. You say, well, you know, I confess once in a while. Confess it. Get it out now. As soon as it's, it's done, get it out. Don't, don't let it stay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, the difference between grace and mercy. Mercy is the uh, the uh, decision of God not to punish us. Grace is the decision of God to save us and bless us. Mm. Mm. That's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. You know, clean yourself. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Yes. Amen. Confess it. Get it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to walk around like that. Mm. You give yourself a, a, a bath every day mm. or a shower every day. Why? Because you walk gone all day and your body needs it. Yeah. Amen. Our spiritual body, we need to cleanse ourselves, bathe ourselves, give ourselves a spiritual bath every, every, all the time. Not just once in a while. You know why? Because you're in a negative world. And you're around negative people. And all these things just jump all over you. Yes. I mean, they'll just attach themselves to you. And you got to be able to, you know, just bathe yourself, give yourself a spiritual bath and confess the word and get it off of you. Release it. Give it to them. It says, cast it all these on me. That's what the word of God says. Mm. God, I mean, excuse me, life, life is not always fair. Mm -mm. But listen to this. God is always faithful. Yes. Amen. And he's going to live up to his word. Yes. And he's going to keep his word. Yes. And his word works if you work the word. Mm -hmm. His word works if you confess the word. Yes. Remember, like a uh, word, the word is a seed. Yes, it is. Amen. And life and death are in the words you speak. So, yes. is it? There's, are you releasing uh, positive things or negative things? Are you speaking life, lively things or uh, deathly things? Yes, You're going to have whatever you say. Right. Amen. You're going to eat whatever you say. Mm. So, don't say it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He's always faithful and a God of a second chance. Yes, he is. Always. You know, you see somebody I see this in the world a lot, but you know, you see somebody down and out and the first thing you want to do is you want to go and just tell them something negative mm. instead of being kind yeah. and saying something nice. Remember where you used to be? Yeah. Yeah. And somebody came and spoke a word over you mm. and you came to Christ. Mm. They need the same thing. And what the Bible says, John 3, 16, we read, For God so loved the world, and Jesus died for all, not just a few of us. Mm -hmm. hey, amen. He died for all of us. All of us. And he wants us, ministers of reconciliation, his body of Christ, the body of Christ, us, the church, to go and minister to those that are still down and out. Yes. We can't forget about those that are still lost. That's it. That's it. How is he going to reach them? Through us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Through us. 
And that's where we come in, and that's where we got to stay full, and that's how you stay hungry for the things of God and go into the world. I can't go where you go, and you can't go where I go, but we go into the world. And we're serving God and being yeah. his ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Ambassadors. You know what ambassadors are? Ambassadors are his mouthpiece mm -hmm. on earth. And speaking for him on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's in heaven. We're here. And we're the church. We're the body of Christ. Speaking yeah. for him and bringing people to reconciliation. Bringing people to Christ. Mm -hmm. That's how he's doing it. Through us. Yes. So we just can't sit down and, and pretend and just do nothing. That's it. Man, we already have church. <laughs> it's not over until he says it's over. That's it. Or until you win or until you just give up. Mm -hmm. The world says it ain't over until a fat lady sings. <laughs> it ain't over until he says it's over. That's it. Amen. Yeah. That's the thing, you know. I'm not waiting. I'm not I'm not depending on no well, this is just what the world says. I'm not waiting for somebody a fat person to sing, you know. <laughs> Use your God given authority. Save your say so's. Speak faith filled words. I've got a few uh, say so's. What is your say so's? Your say so's are your confession of His word. I have a few of these. It says, what you say about you according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. What are you confessing? Yeah. Are you confessing his word over yeah. you? It says, listen to this. I encourage you daily, send your words out in a positive direction. Mm -hmm. Speaking positive confessions over your life. Nobody's yeah. going to do this for you. That's it. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to do it and stir yourself up yeah. by choosing to change your say so's. Mm -hmm. What are you saying about you? Mm -hmm. Amen. The world says different things about you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to say negative things about you. And ugly things about you. What are you saying about yourself? Are you yeah. agreeing with them? Or are yeah. you going to agree with what the word God says? Right, right. Amen. Listen to this. Let your say so's be this. Mm -hmm. Why can't you say these? It says let your say so's be this. I am blessed. Mm -hmm. You know. I, I'm not going around saying I'm useless. Mm. I don't wrong I'm out to say. nothing mm. you're confessing the wrong things that's not what your God is saying about you he didn't put you here to lose he put you here to be a winner Yes. I'm blessed, I'm a winner, I'm prosperous, I'm strong I'm healthy, I'm talented, I'm creative mm -hmm. I'm faithful I'm secure, I'm disciplined, I'm focused I'm attractive I'm valuable, yeah. I'm an overcomer Yes. I am more than a conqueror mm -hmm. amen <laughs> uh I have right people in my future. The right opportunities are heading my way. Yeah. I will accomplish my dreams. Yeah. I will accomplish what God has sent me to do. Yes. I will overcome every obstacle. Yeah. This is my year for breakthrough. Yeah. This is my day for breakthrough. Uh -huh. Amen. I have God's favor with me at all times. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And listen, greater is he that is in me yes. than he that is in the world. These things you speak over yourself. This is my say so. What's your say so? And you can just let them have it, you know? <laughs> Listen, friend, when you begin to say your positive say so, your life will never be the same. God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. So get ready for God to do the impossible in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Impossible things coming through you. Why? Because I'm saying my say so's and I'm trusting in him and I'm being faithful and I'm going out and doing what he's called me to do. Ain't that amazing? It's okay, you know, you can take these before you get them in you. Yes. Just take them and post them. Yeah. And and read them on a daily basis. Yeah. And confess these things. Not what the world says. That's what right. the what the what the word of God says about you. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Amen. I want to build myself up, stir myself up. Amen. It says soar with the eagles, not wallow up in the in the mud with them pigs, you know. <laughs> scratching with the chickens, you know. I want to fly up high, you know, and get high on the most high. <laughs> Amen. This is the best high you can have. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Let 
Let me see the Holy God talking to John, John 3 16. Keep going. There you go, John. We've already read it. First John 1 9. Your King James said, If we, if you could say also, if I, or put your name on there, if Jose confess his sins, God, Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive him of his sins and to cleanse him of all unrighteousness. He's going to give me a throw bath, shower, whatever I need, you know. But he's going to do it. And he does, and he will. So let's remember this. Keep going. This is good. The Lord says, forget what happened before and do not think about the past. Look at the new thing I am going to do. It is already happening. Do you see it? Isaiah 43, 18, 19. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. Look what he's doing. He said he has rivers in the, in, in, in the deserts. You know, he's going to rain some food for you. He's going to yeah. do all things for us. Amen. New things happening. The world says there's new things happening. You know, you no longer have to read your Bible. Mm -hmm. You no longer have to do this. We yeah. are doing a new thing. There's no new thing. The Word of God is never outdated. That's it. That's Amen. It. It's never outdated. Keep going, John. Here we go. <laughs> this, this is where we at now. <laughs> you know what a second chance is? Uh -huh. Are you turning? Are you <laughs> Don't do it out there in, in the street. Man. <laughs> but in the spirit, we can. You turns are good in the, in the spirit. Amen. Yeah. So God allows what? You turn. <laughs> and you know, we was going head and down, and we do a U turn, now we're facing up, going up, going to heaven. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, man, you can shout hallelujah on that one. Yeah. <laughs> God uses, use your God given authority with your say so's. God, the world will say it's over till the fat lady sing. That's so. <laughs> God will give you a second chance. Right. Amen. To us more. So, you know, but he never gives up. Yes, yes. Don't give up on yourself. Yes, and don't yes. have, don't go and confess to the wrong person and tell your person uh, uh, your, your problems. And they come back at you and say, I got bigger problems than you. <laughs> so, you know, that's nothing compared to what I got. Just go to him yes. and confess to him. Yes, yes. God allows you turns. It's called forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's called a second chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> this is good. Yes, it is. <laughs> God allows us to confess sin, uh, confess sins, repent, and make a U-turn back mm -hmm. to Him. We're heading down. Mm -hmm. Now we do a U-turn and we're going back up. <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. God never gives up on us. That's right. Amen. And never give up on yourself. You're a child of God. You're God's property. Jesus came and paid the price. He didn't know. And we owe the price we can't pay for. Mm -hmm. But he owns you. Mm -hmm. You may not know that. But he owns mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So we just got to be obedient and serve him. Amen. Whatever he's called us to do, you can do. Yes. Because he says you can do all things through him. He gives you the strength to do so. Yes. He allows us to confess. Never give up on yourself. Never leave. He never leaves you, nor forsakes you. That's it. You know, when you start feeling lonely, mm. it's when you you you're, you need to say, I need to spend more time with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Maybe we haven't spent time with him. That's when you start feeling lonely and all the cares of the world and all these negative thoughts just pile up on you. Mm. I say, wait a minute. It's time to spend time with him. That yes. means... <clears throat> I cast everything on him. Yeah. I give it all to him. And Lord, it's just me and you. One on one. Amen. I need your strength. I need everything that you can just give me right now. And he's going to give you whatever those blessings are. And he's going to bless you. <clears throat> he never changes his mind about us. We change our minds about a lot of things. He never does. When he called to you, he gave you a call. He anointed you. He equipped you. He gifted you. We're all gifted different. So we don't have to try to copy one another. Just be the original he made you to be. And he never takes his call from you. Mm -hmm. If you ain't doing nothing for him, one day you'll have to stand before him and ask. And he's going to ask you, why didn't you do what I called you to do? Well, I didn't know and I was afraid. So mm -hmm. uh, I just listened to the world. I listened to the friends and and they said, I'm, I'm no good for nothing. Mm. 
He says, this is what I gave you. This is what I called you to do. I put you there to be a winner, not a loser. Now it's time for you to find out. How do I find out? Well, you start, you spend time with him. You open the Bible and you read it. Yeah. And he tells you in his word. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Romans 11, 29 says, For the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. Yes. Amen. In the uh, contemporary English version says, God doesn't take back the gifts he has given or forget about the people he has chosen. That's it. He didn't make a mistake when he chose you. That's it. We forget and we let, again, we let people mm -hmm. and the world disqualify us. He's already qualified you. Amen. He's already qualified. He don't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Amen. He qualifies the call. And you are called and you're qualified. Mm -hmm. He's qualified you. If God's qualified you, forget about what the world says. That's it. Amen. That's it. <laughs> Praise God. That's it. God is so good. Amen. I've got a few few examples. Let me see. Uh, God's mercy called me to place <clears throat> to the place of new beginnings. Mm -hmm. For he is the God of a second chance. Yeah. Keep going. Here you go. Butterflies of God's proof that we have a second chance at life. What was a butterfly used to be? A caterpillar. A caterpillar. Man, an ugly thing. <laughs> and look at this beautiful thing. He just went, became a cocoon. <laughs> and then all of a sudden out of this cocoon comes a beautiful butterfly. A second chance. So, you know, you see a butterfly. Man, that's a second chance flying around. <laughs> Keep going. Hallelujah. Jonah 117 says, The Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the stomach of the whale three the, of, of the fish uh, three days and three nights. We're going to get there in a few minutes here. <clears throat> Again, I know it's here somewhere. Keep going. There we go. Now Peter came to Jesus and asked Jesus, asked, Asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins, misses the mark against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you not, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. So how many times how, do I forgive him? Yeah. Yeah, he forgave us. We need to forgive too. Or it's going to be held against you. <laughs> so you give it, you forgive him. Amen. Ooh, that's a big number. Meaning, we should have no limits to forgiveness. Yes. We should forgive. Amen. Amen. And I, I, uh, I spoke about this too. The second chance is this. The robber at the cross. There was two crucified with Jesus. At, at one of either side. One of them is mocking him. One of them is just giving him a hard time. Mm -hmm. And the other one says, you know, we've done wrong. Leave him. He said, we've done wrong. And we're getting paid. We're being punished for what we did. He's done nothing. And then he turns to Jesus and says, Remember me. And Jesus says, I will remember you. He gave him a second chance. He went from hell to heaven. Just by asking Jesus for us, you know, to remember him. Basically says, Can you give me a second chance? He says, Yeah, I'll give you a second chance. Man, that's awesome. Yes. Now the Bible says a big fish. We 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 uh, say automatically it's a whale, but no. <laughs> the story of Jonah. Jonah. Jonah is told by God to go to Nineveh and preach the salvation to a horrible, horrible people group. Jonah disobeys God and ends up in the belly of a fish, a big fish, for three days, three nights. Jonah gets spit out on dry dry ground. He ends up preaching to these <laughs> wicked people who actually listen and turn their lives around. Uh -huh. It's a great story of compassion for such a wicked nation. So Jonah ends up in the belly of this big fish. Uh -huh. Amen. First he's running from God. He yeah. gets on a boat and they start having all kinds of problems. Man, they dumping supplies out and they trying to get, uh -huh. doing anything to save themselves. So he went and tells them, you know, that is because of him. He's running from God. I said, what? So they threw, he said, throw me overboard and your problems be over. 
And they did. They threw him over. But, you know, listen to this. King James says, God prepared a fish, a yeah. big fish. Uh -huh. Amplified says, appointed, destined, provided a big fish. This other translation says, he sent a big fish. Easier read version says, he chose a big fish. Mm -hmm. The God, uh, uh, new a new translation says, he commanded a fish. Mm -hmm. And the New Living Translation says, he arranged the fish. Mm -hmm. Man, God is great. Yes, he, is. he had this big fish come and swallow him. <laughs> I like this. Let me tell you this uh, story about Jonah and the whale. Let me, let me finish first. A little girl was talking to an unsaved teacher about a whale's. And then she says, you know, Jonah and the whale is our Bible, it was our, our Bible study this, this, uh, this week. She tells him how the whale swallowed Jonah for disobeying God. The teacher says, that's impossible. Physically, it's impossible. It's a big fish. He says, but the throat is too small. A human body couldn't go through there, you know. It's impossible. The little girl stated, Jonah was swallowed by a whale. The Bible says so. The word of God says so. The teacher repeated a whale could not swallow a human. It's impossible. Mm. The little girl says, you know, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jonah. The teacher says, the unsaved teacher says, what if Jonah went to hell? Then she says, you ask him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If God arranged and God assigned and God prepared, yeah. it happened. Yes, he was in the belly of the whale. Of the whale. Yes, this is the type shadow of Jesus' resurrection. Yes. And he came back. He resurrected. Mm -hmm. He went and spit him out where he was supposed to go. Yeah. He could have spit him out anywhere. Yeah. But he went and he spit him out where God assigned him to, to go. Mm -hmm. And Nineveh. Amen. And he fulfilled mm -hmm. God, what God uh, asked him to do. Mm -hmm. You like that little story? <laughs> <laughs> I'll read this one and then we can stop. Let me see. You keep going. God's mercy is bigger than any of your mistakes That's true. or Amen. your sins. Amen. Mm -hmm. And here, here's the thing about sin. There's no little sin, no middle sin, sin mm -hmm. medium sin, or large sin. Mm -hmm. Sin is sin. Yeah. And uh how does this go? Sin will take you further than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to save, and cost you more than you can pay. That's sin. You can write that down. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Here we go. You've never gone too far that God can't redeem you, restore you, and forgive you, and give you a second chance. You can't redeem you, you, and forgive you, and give you a second chance. That's it. That's and you know, if He's brought you through and giving you a second chance, mm -hmm. then you can share that with somebody else. Yes, yes. This is what I was in. Mm -hmm. This is my testimony. Mm -hmm. And this is what God brought me from. Right. And he can do the same for you. Yes. And you tell somebody else, and they say, wow, if he did it for you, he can do it for me. Yeah. Yes. He did it for me, and he can do it for you. That's it. That's and you don't have to stay there. That's Amen. It. You can be released. You can be released from that, you know. Yes. <laughs> We've been released from prison. Some of us are still in the cell. Mm -hmm. We got to get out. Yeah. He's got a mission for us. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's for sure. Listen to this. I'm trying to read it to you here. It says, Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the morning. He went back to the temple area. People all came to see him. And he said and he taught. Then the teacher of the law and the Pharisees brought a woman. They caught in the bed with a man who was not her husband. They forced her to stand in front of the people. They said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. Mm. The law of Moses commands us to stone her to death. Oh, Any such women, what do you say we should do? They were saying this to trick him. They tried to trick him, okay? They wanted to catch him saying something wrong so they could have a chance, yeah. uh, a charge against him. But Jesus stooped down and he started writing on the ground with his finger. The Jewish leaders continued to ask him this question. So he stood up 
And he says, anyone here who has never sinned to throw the first stone at her. Then Jesus stooped down again and wrote on the ground again. When they heard this, they began to leave one by one. The older men first, left first, and then the others. Jesus left alone with the woman standing there in front of him. He looked at her and he said to her, where did they go? Did no one judge you guilty? She says, no, no one, sir. Then Jesus says, I don't judge you either. He says, go now, but sin no more. That's it. Amen. Go now, but don't sin again. Mm -hmm. But it was trying to trick him. He knew. Mm -hmm. And he wrote on the ground. He stooped down and he wrote on the ground. He says, okay, he got up again. They kept bugging him. They wanted him to say something now. Mm -hmm. He says, okay. Let the first one with no sin cast the first stone. Mm -hmm. And of course, they couldn't do this. So they started walking away. He stooped yeah. down and he rode again. Yeah. And when he got up again, it's just him and this, and this lady, this woman. He says, where'd they go? They're gone. He says, they didn't charge him? He says, no. Mm -hmm. No one, sir. He says, well, neither do I judge you. He says, go and sin. Don't sin again. We've all been in a situation which we wanted things to work out, but it didn't. Yeah. You feel like, I, if I could just have a second chance, I know I could make things work. Amen. We've all, we've all been here. I'm talking about anybody here <laughs> or just me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you look back over your life at some of the situations we have been involved in and some of the choices that we have made, we think, if only I had a second chance. Mm -hmm. You know, some of you watching, some of you listening, we find ourselves in this area, in this situation. There's hope for you. His yeah. name is Jesus. Yes. And he'll give you a second chance. Yeah. But you have to receive him now. Amen. Amen. This is your time. Such a time as this. You're not listening by accident. That's it. Amen. This is your time to hear this. And if you never heard it before, now is the time. Yeah. All you need to do is repent, confess to him, and say, no, God. I, I, I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. Come my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to forgive you. Yeah. You're going to make a U-turn and you start serving him. Amen. And start growing in the word of God. And start going for him. And doing it for him. Amen. Serving him. If only I had a second chance, I wouldn't have gotten involved in whatever. Drinking, drugs, smoking, gangs, bad crimes, bad habits, mm -hmm. suicide, rebellion. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. He'll take you out of this. I wouldn't have got involved in those things. But you know what? You've confessed it now. You've asked him. He's come. He's your Lord and Savior. You've got born again. Amen. Amen. You're not, you're, you, the new is in. The old is out. So don't let the old back in. Let the old go in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Woo! The Bible tells me that the God I serve... Is a God of mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's 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 remember this, and we're gonna stop here right now, and uh, let's remember. Don't stop. It says, uh, in order to walk day by day in fellowship with God, we must confess, repent, forgive, and forget. First John one nine. Make the U turn back to God. He allows U turns. He gives uh, second chances. Yes. Stop going the wrong way. Amen. I can do that much. Stop going the wrong way. Stop mm -hmm. dragging. Stop uh, carrying. Stop trying to hide or cover up your sins. He already knows. Mm -hmm. Get back in fellowship with him. He already knows all these things. Who are you trying to hide in front of? You know? Just get it out. Give it to him. And get yourself right. And press on with him. Amen? Amen. So let's remember that. I hope you, uh, I hope you learned something. We're going to continue with this uh, next week. And uh, we're going to stop right there and press on next week. So, Father, we just thank you for your precious word. Thank you, Lord, that we can uh, grow and go for you, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you. Help us to grow. In Jesus' name, bless, bless your people, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you if uh, you're watching, you're listening, and this is the first time you've never asked Christ in your life. Now's the time. Just repent yeah. and ask him to come into your life, be your Lord and Savior. 
and get in a Bible-based church where you can go and learn about the things of God. Get you a Bible and, and, and start reading it. And study your show yourself approved and get the right words coming out of you instead of wrong words. Amen. Start speaking, speaking life over yourself. Know yes. that you can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. You, uh, the greater one is in you. Uh -huh. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. If you hurt him, if you have sickness in your body, man, I just put, lay my hands on me. The Bible says lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yes. So I'm going to lay hands on me. Thank you, Father, that by Jesus Christ I am healed. I'm laying hands and I'm thinking that I am healed. Everything from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, functioning normal, healed in Jesus' name. Function in the way you created it to function, Father, yes. in Jesus' precious name. And we thank you, Father, that we are healed and not sick, Lord. And we will thank you for rebuking uh, uh, the spirit of uh, infirmity in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. If you uh, give him, time to give. If you're watching or listening, you would like to give your tithe, your offerings, you still can. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Just hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marple, Texas, 79843. And now you can give by cash in at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Have a blessed week. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord.